Now the second strand of jihad fi sabilillah, here it is mentioned in only one ayah, and then you will find, you know, gradually. And in the end of this surah, there are two sections, full two sections, which are devoted to this. For this battles, for, the, for this going to war, you need money, you need funds. You need arms, and arms need money. So along with your own lives and your bodies, you have to contribute your money, your wealth. One fiqhu fi sabirillah. And expend in the cause of Allah, for the way of Allah. Wala tulku bi adikum ila tahluka. And don't throw yourself with your own hands in disaster and ruination. If you are behaving miserly with the deen of Allah, what is it? You are actually throwing yourself in the fire of hell. So don't throw yourself to the ruin, ruination and disaster of the fire of hell. If you don't pay, if you don't contribute, if you don't spend for the cause of Allah, actually you are throwing yourself as if in the hell, in the fire of hell. وَأَحْسِنُوا And do good. Your Islam should be a beautiful Islam. إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who do good deeds. Now again, this was an interpolation. The subject of Hajj had started, but you know, in between these injunctions regarding going to war, very important. And now all the instructions about the manasik, about the rites and rituals of Hajj, they are coming. And complete all the rites and rituals of Hajj and Umrah for, for Allah. Because what goes for Hajj and what goes for Umrah for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, for the sake of his player. وَأَتِمُّ itmam To complete. Once you have taken to Ihram, once you have made the intention, now you have to complete all the rituals. فَإِنْ وَحَسِرْتُمْ If you are obstructed, if you are prevented, somebody in the way stops you, you can't go to the to Makkah Mukarrama. Then offer to Allah for Mastaisra bin al Hajj. Then whatever sacrifice you can offer, you offer there and then, which you had to offer at Makkah. But because you have been obstructed in the way, here you know you can offer the sacrifice. Wala hatta al And don't shave your heads unless that sacrifice has reached its place. You have to send that sacrifice towards Makkah and wait till such time that you think that the sacrifice now could have reached Makkah. That's the place of that sacrifice. Now you can shave your, your heads. That is, now you can finish your ihram. Faman kana minkum maridan aw bihi adan min rasahi. And then whosoever amongst you is ill or sick and there is some ailment in his head that needs shaving. فَفِذِيَةٌ مِّنْ سِيَامٍ So you have to do the redemption. That redemption can be done through keeping fast, fasting or sadaqatin, giving alms, or nusuk, or another sacrifice. That is called dame jinaya, because you are contravening, contravening the law. Here you have to present a sacrifice additional. فَإِذَا أَمِنْتُمْ and if, if you are in peace, now you, are, you have reached Makkah. So whosoever avails with performing Umrah before Hajj, he should also again present an additional qurbani, an additional sacrifice for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is according to Imam Abu Hanifa, this is Dame Shukr. Because before Islam, in one journey, only either Hajj could be performed or Umrah, not both. But in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it easier for the Muslim Ummah. If you are performing one journey, but you can do, first you go and do Umrah, then you open your Ihram, or you can continue it also, that is Hajj al-Qiram. And if you have opened your Ihram, finished your Ihram, now you are staying at Makkah as a normal citizen. 
then it is called hajj tamattu so this additional is that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided for you that in one journey you can perform umrah as well as hajj for that you have to present a sacrifice famastaysara min al hajj wa man lam yajid fa siyamu thalathati ayyam but there can be someone who cannot afford to pay for the for the sacrifice can't purchase the goat or the sheep and so on wa man lam yajid who doesn't find fa siyamu thalathati ayyam in fil hajj here again there is fitna there is fidya that is redemption and that redemption is Three days fasting during the Hajj, but Sabatin is our Rajatu, and seven more when you go back to your houses, your homes. Till Kasharatun Kamila, ten days fasting would take the place of that Hadi, of that sacrifice. Kasharatun Kamila, Zalika le Mallam ya Kun Ahluhu Hazril Masjidil Haram, and this is only for those people whose families are not settled near the. the sacred mosque whom we call afaqi who go from outside world to perform hajj but there you know people who are living at makka they they need not give this this sacrifice additional sacrifice but taqullah have regard for allah have fear of allah wa'lamu and keep it in mind and allah shadidul iqab that allah is very severe in punishment don't contravene these laws these laws are to be obeyed الحج اشهر معلومات the months in which hajj can be performed are very well known فمن فرض فيه من الحج so whosoever has made a firm intention that he is to perform hajj he should know فلا رفس ولا فسوق ولا جدال في الحج that during this period when one is in ihram there can be no sexual indulgence there should be no obscenity in speech there should be no jidal there should be no fighting quarreling or arguing with each other wa ma tafalu min khairin ya'lamu allah instead of these things you have to do good and whatever good you do allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will know it it will not be it will not go in vain it will be in the knowledge of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he will reward you but as a wadu and have the provision with you find the khair azad at taqwa and the best provision is taqwa you have all the money with you to spend there but there is no taqwa to what avail you get nothing out of it then so you must have taqwa the first thing the foremost thing is taqwa but in addition to taqwa you must have the money to spend where you shouldn't go and beg there because if you don't have the money then hajj is not farz not obligatory upon you you should have your your own you know expenditure with you don't go and beg there but as a wadu you must have the provisions with you fa inna khair azad at taqwa and of all the provisions the best is taqwa that that is the must that should be the foremost but taquni ya ulil albab o people of understanding have my taqwa that is the last warning of allah subhanahu wa taala